Hello, welcome to Upside Down Crypto. In this video, we will have a look at the world's fastest publicly known Chia plotter setup. We will have a look at each component, price it up, and see how it's performing. So, stay tuned. This is a spreadsheet with Chia plotter rankings all over the world. I got this information from the Chia official forum website. I'll link it below. So what it is, is a list of high performing Chia plotters and their configuration and their settings, which is very, very useful. And this one here is the highest performing of them all and is plotting 104 plots in parallel, apparently. So let's have a look at this setup. First off, it uses a gigabyte MZ71CE1 dual CPU motherboard. As you can see, it comes with several NVMe ports, which comes in very handy for chia plotting. It also supports up to 256 gigabyte of RAM. The processor used in this chia plotting machine, it's an AMD EPYC7742, and it has 128 threads with a top speed of 3.4 gigahertz. When it comes to CPU ranking, it's actually ranked number two. I found this motherboard on eBay for $1,468. The CPU on eBay is going for around $4,800 each. So the RAM configuration is 228 gigabyte RAMs. And these are ECC RAMs, which are error correction RAMs. So they're really good. They don't crash that often. They're server RAMs and they come in very handy when you're plotting Chia. So for 256 gigabyte of RAM, that's going to cost you around $2,000. I'm actually adding all these to a spreadsheet and I can share it with you in the description below. So you get detailed pricing and links to all these components. Moving to the SSD, this specific setup it's using four of these SSDs priced at $790 each. This setup is also using one of these drives, the ES3600P, but the price is just ridiculous and I've been comparing it with the previous drive, which is the Micron drive, and it performs in a quite similar manner. This one is quite rare to find actually. So I think the guy probably just had this lying around and he just used it. I don't know. I mean, it's a very good performing hard drive, but the price is not justified at $5,000. I really doubt he paid $5,000 for this drive, or maybe he did, I don't know. So comment below what you think. Do you think he actually paid $5,000 for a 3.2 terabyte NVMe drive. So I'm replacing this with another Micron drive. So coming back here. So far, we've gone through this one, the motherboard, CPU, RAM, and the 3.84 terabyte hard drive, which again, I've replaced it here because that price here is just ridiculous. Is also using Samsung 970 Evo NVMe drives. These are the M.2 interface and they're two terabytes. The power supply wasn't listed, but I'm assuming you need at least 800 watts. 1000 watts is preferred, obviously. I think this one here is a compatible power supply. I'm not sure about the 750 watts though. You can try to find 1000 watts. I couldn't find this specific model in 1000 watts in stock, but there are other brands that you can look on Amazon or eBay or your favorite um, PC outlet. So pricing it up, this setup is going to cost you right now $18,400. That's an insane amount of money to spend on a chair plotter. But saying that, you have plenty of PCIe slots here. So you can actually plug in several GPUs and you can do Ethereum mining or other kind of mining at the same time as doing your chia plotting because you have quite a lot of threads and you don't need all those threads. 
potentially you could free some threats for mining other cryptocurrencies. So these are the claims made in the actual spreadsheet that this setup is plotting 104 in parallel and phase one is taking 175 minutes, which is very, very fast. The total plot time is 600 minutes. So these are the maximum available resources with the above setting. So you get around 25,000 gibs, you get 128 threads, and you get around 24,000 MIBs. This is not megabytes, it's mebibytes, which is used in GR plotting. It's quite rare using these units, but they use it. With these settings, these are the max number of plots you would get if you do like parallel plotting without any pause. So these are the settings in the spreadsheet. Obviously the hard drive is fixed. Every plot, every K32 plot is going to use 239 GIB in phase one and phase two, even though the final plot size is only 101.4 GIBs. So with the amount of hard drive we have, we can plot 105 plots. That's if everything else is unlimited. With the amount of CPU thread available, if the setting is 16 threads per plot, which apparently it is, then you can only plot 8 at a time. And with the total RAM available, if you're assigning 4000 megabytes of RAM per plot, then you can only plot 61 plots maximum in parallel. So I'm not too sure if that 104 makes too much sense unless you reduce the number of threads. I don't think 16 is necessary. I think four is more than enough. But then again, the bottleneck would be your maximum RAM because you would need around 4,000 mm. megabyte of RAM to plot around between 3,000 and 4,000 ideally. So you don't want to drop too much. So the limitation would be here, really. You can't plot more than 61 plots in parallel at the same time. So let's say we'd like to assign 16 threads. I made this little spreadsheet here for you to understand. So we assign 16 threads and we do six parallel plots at the same time. So this is batch one of our parallel plots. These parallel plots in phase one, they're using 96 threads of CPU. And this is going to take 175 minutes. After the 175 minutes is over, we start another set of 175 minute parallel plotting. So now this batch is only using six threads maximum because they've moved to phase two, phase three and phase four. The new batch is now occupying 96 threads. In total, the system is now using 102 threads. So when phase one for the second batch is finished, we start the third batch of six parallel plots. So now in this stage, the system is using a total of 108 threads. And when the phase one is finished for the third batch of parallel plots, we're going to start the fourth batch of parallel plots. Now at this stage, the system is using its maximum number of threads and is using 114 threads and we have four batch of parallel plots running at the same time. Assuming we have unlimited RAM, if we half the number of threads allocated to each plot, then we can run 96 plots in parallel at the same time. If we come up here, this is the total number of RAM. If we divided that by 96, That means each plot would get 2,500 megabytes of RAM, which is not ideal. So if I divide how much RAM we have available by 3,500, which is a recommended amount of RAM to allocate, then you have 69 plots maximum. So your bottleneck is here at the RAM. That's why I recommend if you're going to spend so much money setting up like a system similar to this one, Always bear in mind your bottlenecks. Do some basic calculation like this one here to find out what your bottlenecks are. There's no point having all this thread available when your bottleneck is the maximum number of RAMs you can have on this system. 
So you spend $18,000 and at the end you can't go further than 256 gigabyte of RAM. You have sufficient SSD, you have sufficient threads, but your bottleneck is the max RAM available. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions on what kind of video I should make next, please comment below. And make sure to subscribe because my subscribers have scientifically been proven to win more cheer coins. As always, crypto out.